Hello and welcome to my video. I'm going to show you how to put mods in Oblivion on your PC, of course. Internet Explorer. Let it load. So now you can either go to Google or Yahoo or any other search site. Doesn't really matter as long as they search up things on the web. I'm gonna type in. You just type in Oblivion, and then you can type in the name of the mod, and then you just type in mod after that, so it knows that it's a mod, not like a video or something, because it makes it harder to find. Um, I'm gonna type in vampire mods. So. This is Drox Vampire Mod at Tenexus, Test Nexus or something like that. I'm gonna, I'll put a link to this website in the description. <coughs> so now you got a description of the mod and what it's about and what it does, and maybe if it's a newer version, what about it's improving? You got comments, but we're not reviewing the website. Go, you go to Files, Drox Vampire Mod. Right click, let it load, and it'll pull up this. Now, I'll also put a link in the description to Win Rare if you don't already have it. I don't. I recommend you download it because it's a very good program. And well, without a program like this, well, I don't, I'm pretty sure you couldn't even put a mod on the game or this just makes it easier I don't know but let's continue on with this tutorial okay you click on save save it to wherever you want I like to do it to the desktop so I think it's easier click on save that was pretty quick go to open folder and then it'll it should pull up something like this and it'll have like a blue highlight, highlighted, light blue uh, highlight shade around it or something. Let you know that that's what you just downloaded. Right, double right click. It should open this up like this. Now we're gonna go to um, the Oblivion data files. You can just go ahead and exit out of that. Go to Oblivion. Right click. Open file location. Then you go to your data, and as you see, I got a lot of mods in here. But once you got your data, it's pretty simple. Just click on the first one. See, I'm not clicking on the two little dots. I'm clicking on Drox Vampire Mod Word, the first one, the first file. Hold down Shift, click at the bottom, and drag these into it. Now it'll say something like this. Click continue. And I am doing this on Vista, so yeah. Click continue. And, well, there you go. And you got your mod on Oblivion. But to activate the mod, you have to go to here. Here is one of the mod. Here's uh, the mod right here, or it's like a part of it. You just check it, and if you don't want to use the mod, you just uncheck it, and it just takes the mod out, and then you can always use it whenever you want. So yeah, that's how you do it. Oh wait, here it is, right there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just click OK. Now sometimes you will have problems with this with oblivion bugs if you have a problem with this if you download a mod and you start to have problems like if you try to load a profile or something like that and it automatically shuts down just send me a message asking me what to do and i'll try to make a video on solving how to do it but this is just a mod tutorial remember if you have any problems just send me a message on youtube thanks for watching